Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. Today we are going to see how to do Kriging analysis using ArcGIS. Kriging is a, one of the interpolation technique which has been uh, widely used. So we are going to just see how to do it in ArcGIS. So now I am going to add my data. So you can see here I am having uh, two types of data. So one is uh, boundary data, another one is point data. So point data is important for uh, doing this Kriging uh, analysis because it contains the values, that is uh, rainfall values. And this is my boundary extent to which I have to uh, do the processing. So these are the two layers which is, uh, which is going to be used in this analysis. So uh, now go to the option uh, processing, geoprocessing from there just go to the option environments so we need to just uh, specify the output uh, extent so I'm going to give same as layer export so so just select the option raster analysis from there we have to input our output uh, shape file for masking and just give ok so now we need to go to the option arc toolbox now go to the option arc toolbox from there select the spatial analysis tool and just uh, come down and you can just see the option interpolation so in interpolation now we are going to uh, do it using a rigging tool so you can see here now we have to input our point feature so in that I am going to select rainfall that is having the values for which we are going to do the creaking analysis so the, the next thing is that we are going to just uh, specify our output uh, raster so the rest of the things uh, if you need you can just have a look at it and uh, you can just select uh, various options available here that is our models so now I am going to use the spherical and uh, just give ok so that the process will be going on in between uh, we are going to just hollow this uh, layer or it may take a few minutes or a few seconds based on the system so you can see here the output is, output is available so it has been uh, classified into 9 fields so if you want to classify it into a smaller fields, you can just go to the option of symbology and just classify it. So you can see here there are nine classes. So you can just reduce it to five classes also. And, uh, you can just classify it with a uh, equal interval also. And the schemes, color schemes can be also change so you can see here the output is available now I need to just uh, show the uh, point value too so that you can have a good uh, look at the value and as well as the result so you can see here based on values and uh, it has been uh, interpolated using the Kriging tool. So I hope that you have uh, learned uh, uh, a new thing from this video. So please do subscribe this channel. Thank you.